Uh, this is an exploration of uh, a meteorite that came over New Mexico on July 28th, uh, 2020. And we have basically uh, three video uh, captures of it. One is from this dash cam. And um, one of the tricks is to try to solve for the location of the dash cam and uh, the field of view. So this is um, solvable from street view. Um, kind of in West Albuquerque. So we have that. Uh, we have uh, two other videos here. Uh, this one is also in uh, Albuquerque, maybe a mile away. This one has a little bit longer trace, so we'll use this one uh, initially. And you're going to see the meteorite coming in from, uh, from the, uh, the west here. These are the Sandia Mountains. And you're going to see a flash uh, at the beginning of the disintegration here or uh, in the second flash. And that's a recognizable point to synchronize time uh, between these different uh, videos. And you can see this is shot from a Nest Cam, which has 130 degrees uh, field of view. The previous dash cam from the poster in the previous Reddit post post the uh, model number, which let us know that was 140 degree uh, field of view. And uh, we're able to solve for this location uh, based on uh, the Sandia Mountains that we have uh, 10 meter resolution elevation as, a, as an input, um, as well as um, uh, different identifying information that uh, lets us find uh, um, an address. And this patio is kind of uh, very findable. Uh, Taos is roughly uh, over here, uh, um, uh, over the, the Sandias. And um, thank you to uh, uh, Daniel and uh, Tara Kessner for posting this. This video doesn't have as much of a trace, but you can see that very identifiable first flash, then second flash. Um, and again, if you look over the mountains here uh, toward Albuquerque in this direction, we're looking east right now. And again, using 10 meter USGS elevation data, we can calibrate this camera, which is a, another Nest Cam. And this sign here, if you're uh, looking on Maestas Road, uh, and this fence is very identifiable from street view. So that helps us uh, make a, a model of this camera where we're solving for the extrinsics, which is the location and orientation, as well as the intrinsics, which lets us model uh, the lens and the camera, uh, you know, things like the field of view. Uh, so from this, we're gonna take these two uh, uh, videos and basically put it into our 3D uh, real-time Earth tool that we've been developing in for wildfire applications with SimTable um, to estimate uh, early uh, locations of wildfire and uh, the fire behavior as it unfolds so we can get a good sense of rates of spread and things like that. But here we're going to use the same uh, kind of idea. Uh, you can see that first camera was up in Taos, uh, and as we fly into that one, you can see it modeled, and we're putting a, a coordinate here of that flash, which is in uh, a UV coordinate um, when you deal with uh, photos. And we have a center point. And if we know the center point where it's pointing, we can calculate um, an angle. If you know if this is 140 degrees um, total, so 70 degrees in this direction, we can get an angle uh, for that UV um, in, in an altitude and azimuth from this camera location or a phi theta, if you will. Uh, so that we have that uh, coordinate. And then if we uh, pop back over here to uh, Albuquerque, here's that second um, uh, vantage point of that same flash. And uh, you know, a little bit of a rough uh, offset, but it's uh, still good enough to get a rough approximation. We'll do some uh, tuning of the lenses uh, a little bit further, but you can see basically where is that point crossing above New Mexico? And if uh, you can see, I'm projecting the imagery here uh, on here. And so what we're going to do is now just kind of here it is coming down from Taos. We got Santa Fe here, take an I-25 around to Glorieta and uh, Pecos is in here. Uh, but you can see that point is basically crossing where the first disintegration is happening is uh, just north uh, of Las Vegas here. And. Uh, so we're going to get other points as that uh, is coming in and basically model with agentscript.org, our agent-based modeling tool for STEM education and people to make their own agent-based models. 
So that will be coming in here. And so that'll be the next uh, analysis we'll be doing. And, uh, you know, I'm just making the first guess that maybe we're going to be landing somewhere in east, uh, north of Tucumcari, but uh, that remains uh, to, to guess. But at least we can see where that first uh, disintegration was. Uh, yeah, thank you. And uh, we'll post more.